is the moment you smell a smell is the moment uh, you remember or the source of that smell for the rest of your life. So the emotion in that context of the smell, if that emotion is positive or negative, that is the emotion linked to the smell for the rest of your life. We are living in a world where primarily vision is what dominant. You know, the look of things is transposed, you know, white walls, shiny surfaces. What happens if I understand a situation from the nose perspective? I understand it much more fundamentally and it stays there for a long time. Memory and smell is fundamental. 100% smell memory remain after one year. Vision 30% after three months. What I do in South Africa, yes, I'm here to do a portrait of the city from the perspective of the nose and uh, to dig into the micro level of the city behind, behind what you see, the, the activities performed in different neighborhoods all over the world. You know, if you ask people, what is the smell of Cape Town? What is the smell of your shop? Like down the street, I ask a guy, what, oh, it's interesting smells here. I immediately identify what the smells come from. This is my 15th city, by the way. I always wanted to do a project in Africa. So the way I uh, do it is first, I use my own software. In this case, the nose. My healthy hardware have amazing softwares, being the senses. And uh, as you all know, we primarily use vision for all those purposes, called navigation, communication, understanding, decision making, so etc. etc. And what could happen if you start to use nose for the same purpose? So I put my nose into the neighborhood. I sniff my way around and back and forth and here and there. You, 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 you have to concentrate so much. You know, where is the smell? If I'm able to sample the smell, I sample where the smell comes from, the source of the smell. If I'm not able to sample the source, I have a tool, like you have a camera to make an image. I have a tool to x-ray the ear. So I have a tool, a pocket, portable tool, which is a, a pump of a kind with a different strength of airflow. With this tool, I'm able to collect the molecules from the situation I'm interested to find out about. Yeah? And I get a scan of the molecules in that given situation, and the peaks of the molecules, and the identification of the molecules. And with this kind of data, I go to chemistry, I have a lab in Berlin, through chemistry, through chemicals, I reproduce the reality I'm after, yeah? But of course, there are much more molecules in reality than I have in chemistry to reproduce, so it's always on the way somewhere. And having said that, the molecules and material I have to my disposal is primarily there to cover up, to camouflage and deodorize the same reality. So the paradox of what I do and the company I work with is exactly that. You know, I show the same reality that they try to cover up. And it's much more difficult to do replication or to do reproduction of a smell than it is to make an abstract version of. Yeah? Hopefully, uh, I will be able to reproduce most of what I've collected here. I intend to make a beginning of a city guide. Yeah? And uh, I have a lot of different technologies who enable to put smells on paper, for example, a map, a beginning of a map uh, for the nose. And then I hope to put some of the research on display somewhere in the city. And so I trigger the next step. So I intend to make it more broad and more, more big. If for nothing else, it's about challenging people to, you know, maybe use their nose a little bit more for other purposes than just breathing in and out. So that the process is as important as the product. At the end of this stay, I will have, hopefully, some smells that represent that kind of intention, intention and purpose. And by decontextualizing this reality, you know, I challenge people's curiosity towards it. So in the end, hopefully, they will go here, smell around like dogs, and discover a different dimension of Cape Town.